day and I blew my own mind. I was like, are you, did this, is this actually a thing in the game? This is ridiculous. And this isn't something you can do every day and it's not something you can do every 10 seconds. This is something you can do only once a week, but throughout the week you can do things that almost amount to the level of awesomeness this is. And here it is, here is the secret. This is a screenshot from when I got my first ever seven day streak. And uh, so Pokemon, this is the seven day streak for catching a Pokemon. Pokemon caught, 200 XP, first catch of the day, 1000 XP, streak bonus, 4,000 XP and curve ball, 20 XP. I got 5,220 XP for one catch and then this was the screenshot of uh, my seven day streak for spinning a Pokestop and I had to crop it because it showed my location. But I also got about 5,000 and I think 20 or something around that, five, a little teeny bit over 5,000 XP for this and the reason why obviously I had a lucky egg down uh, because what you want to do, there's a big strategy, this is like the number one way to farm XP right now in Pokemon Go. It used to be taking gyms, but I think they nerfed that a little bit, they brought the XP gain down from that. So now, this is the best way ever, uh, you know, plus evolving, obviously. So basically, after catching one Pokemon and spinning one Pokestop, with the lucky egg, I got over 10,000 XP and it literally only took me about 10 seconds to do that. And it was, I, I again, I blew my mind, I'm like, oh my. So we're gonna be doing something like this on a smaller scale today. We're gonna go to the Santa Monica Pier. I actually messed up. And I'm not on a streak at all, so today we're starting our one day streak, so we're not gonna get 10,000 XP today. Uh, but I'm still gonna drop the lucky egg and then get the first catch and the first spin and see exactly how much XP we get on a one day streak or a first catch of the day streak. Uh, with a lucky egg just you know on a normal like I'm not on a streak at all So basically this is the best way to XP farm right now in Pokemon Go and you can literally go crazy So it's an everyday thing if you can just do one lucky egg a day um, I know that not everyone can spend Pokecoins on lucky eggs all the time Which is understandable, but if you can and if you can get that one lucky egg a day It's definitely worth it because every day you drop that lucky egg at a place that you know Has a lot of Pokemon or like you lure up a Pokestop or you go to lure Pokestop and you kind of just chill And then you catch your first Pokemon you spin your first Pokestop you get a ton of XP from that lucky egg just because it's the you know the streak and then you can go and evolve a bunch of Pidgeys or evolve some Pokemon you've been wanting to evolve or just catch everything for the next half hour and just add on to that already insane amount of XP. Like this 25,000 XP I think that was from like one lucky egg or two lucky egg sessions and I'm already up 25k. We've already made a pretty reasonable dent in our 350,000 XP goal for level 30 so we're getting there for sure and uh, this strategy is gonna help us get there insanely fast. So now we're gonna go to the Santa Monica Pier, we're gonna drop that lucky egg, we're gonna get the first Pokemon, the first Pokestop, I don't know exactly how much XP we'll get because it's the first day streak, but we're gonna get it anyways. And then we're gonna wander the pier, see what we can catch, and uh, take advantage of those lucky eggs because again, I'm assuming Gen 2 is dropping in December and that's only like a month, month and a half from now, so we need to get to level 30 ASAP. So we're gonna be doing this almost every day. I'm not gonna be doing a video on this every day. So I'm gonna stop talking because I'm boring myself and uh, let's go to the pier and rack up some XP. All right, we've made it to the pier. We are here in the parking lot. I parked in like the back corner so I can hit some stops uh, and some Pokemon. So we're gonna go in. I should have lucky egg. I have four lucky eggs, awesome. So we're gonna drop one of those bad boys and uh, let's see how much XP we're gonna get. We're gonna start off with our catch bonus because I wanna see how much we're gonna get out of this. Ooh, I need to run around and get more balls because I am completely completely out. I might buy balls. I might be that guy to buy balls. I don't want to do it, but I have literally nothing left and I don't have time to like run around third street and collect. So we got our Nidoran for 1,320 XP. So this is with the lucky egg. So it would, you know, not a ton, but that's 1,320 just for one catch, which is awesome. So we'll transfer him out and then we'll hit this Pokestop right here. And in a matter of a couple seconds, we're going to be grabbing that. That's our one day streak. And then that's going to give us a total of, uh, what's it going to do? How much? How much? <laughs> 2,420 XP, so that stop gave us like about 1,000 or 1,200, however much, you do the math. So not bad, we're starting off, we just got here, and we racked in 2,400 XP. So now I'm gonna wander around, uh, let's see, nothing crazy's on the nearby, so we're gonna see what we can catch, kinda walk around for maybe an hour or two, lucky egg, and uh, get those levels up. Also, every Pidgey I catch, I'm gonna evolve just straight up, on the spot, just because I need the XP, that's why I'm walking. I actually got a ton of questions of people asking me why the hell is my Pidgey sitting on my shoulder, like why is this little guy your buddy? when you can be walking so much better candy. It's because I'm trying to get to level 30. I have my Pokedex complete. I have a lot of really, really good Pokemon. I guess I can walk some stuff to do some more evolutions, but whatever. For now, I just want level 30, and then I'll do more evolutions, and I'll walk cooler Pokemon, and we'll do that later. But yeah, so for everyone wondering why my Pidgey is my buddy, it's because I want that Pidgey candy to evolve so I can level up. So let us begin today's grind. Okay, on the beach again, and we found a Squirtle, and there was a, there is a Charmeleon. Oh, there it is. Oh, awesome. Look at that lineup. Hold on. I had a screenshot that, so 
One of these two are gonna despawn, so we're taking the Charmeleon over the Squirtle for a couple reasons. One, it's a Charmeleon, so it's more rare. Let me turn so you can, the wind doesn't blow too hard, the other sun. But we got the Charmeleon, which is awesome. And the beach is just so loud, so 803 CP. Not great IVs, but I mean, pretty good move set and 112 candy on it, so that's not bad. We're gonna transfer them out though, because of bad IVs. And actually, we got the Squirtle too, oh nice. So, we got both, which is actually very surprising. And I didn't see the CP, but the ring around it was red, meaning the CP should be pretty good. We're gonna walk away a little bit from the water because it's just loud as all hell. Okay, we got 403 CP on the Squirtle, so I believe that the IVs will be good to evolve. If, if, it's, if it's good, I would evolve it right now, but that deserves a dedicated video because I have too many Squirtle candies to evolve one Squirtle in one video. We gotta do like three Blastoise evolutions once we get enough Squirtles. So let's see, this was 403 CP, not the best, but IVs are as worse as they come. That's a shocker. Yeah, look, I've got 300, 364 Squirtle candy. That's 365 now, that's ridiculous. Oh, and we got an egg. Maybe we'll hatch a Squirtle right here. No, and the luck continues to be terrible for the Squirtle. Although, IVs, are they good on here? Can we get a, yeah, we can get a Golem. Nice. Yeah, so 10 minutes left on the lucky egg. Uh, we're at about 30,000 XP, not doing bad. We actually got an Abra right here for 90 CP. Usually, I would uh, probably Ultra Ball this guy, considering that was the last Pokemon in the Pokedex, but now it's just like, throw a Raspberry, throw a Pokeball. If he gets away, he gets away. I'm not even tripping, but we got him. Easy, easy money. And also, there was a Ghastly that like I clicked it, and then it said error, like it juked me out. And then, as you can see right here, I know the cluster spawns are over, but I'm just chilling. There's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Pokemon just sitting here. So there's definitely still a lot of plus, Jesus. There's so much to catch and 26 seconds left on the lucky egg. We're gonna have to drop one more lucky egg and keep going because I'm only at 32,000 XP and uh, there's, there's so much to get. So it's honestly a lot spawning today, just waiting for something big, but there's quite a bit. Jump in, all right, so we got a Weeping Bell at the end of the pier, go you know, say your name, your level, and your best Pokemon. Hop in here. Hi there, I'm Jose Alamillo. My nice. level is 22. Okay. My best Pokemon is an Arcanine. Not the best, yeah. but a. Dude, Arcanines are Arcanines are beasts. Oh my god, this guy's being rough. Dude, what are these? Whoa. Yeah, and I'm looking at a screen. Did you already catch a Weeping Bell? Yeah, I did. Nice. I'm looking at a screen. There's literally like 10 Pokemon at the end of the pier here. Dude, I think the cluster spawns are still going. To be honest with you. So we got the Weeping Bell. That was not great. Oh my. God, dude. Whoa. Hold on, okay, screenshot on that. That is insane. So yeah, there's definitely, there's a Pikachu, there's a Ghastly, there's a Fero, there's like a Seal, there's literally there's everything. Shelter, the Magic yeah, Carp, what? what is happening what right is, now? What is life? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The end of the pier is just stockpile. So I do think that cluster spawns are still happening in some sort of, like they officially ended it, but at the same time, they're definitely still happening at the pier here. Look at these spawns! Whoa. This is insane! Like, what the hell's happening right now? What? And there's this not is... even a lure. No, nothing. there's no lure. There's no Pokestop. Pikachu's like 800 CP. Jeez, I got 200. You just destroyed me. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so I got my Pikachu. You still battling yours? Uh, it's actually my second Pikachu. What? There's two. Oh my God! Two Pikachu spawn. What is happening right now? Okay, we got a second Pikachu because one's not enough. How much CP do we get in this? I can't check until I 358. 358? Okay, I'll probably get something close to that. Dude, the end of the pier. Okay, Santa Monica is just on fire right now. I got, and it ran. All right, sick. Just just in this corner, Omanyte, Magikarp, Shelter, and Horsey. I don't know which one to pick, so we're going Horsey We're going the trusty. Oh, yeah, I, I went for the Magikarp. So we're going to catch all these Pokemon, and then there's helicopters flying over. It's a crazy day. Okay, so we're we're here with the Bird Whisperer. We're going to try to get one on our head. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do. I'm so scared. Oh, God. Yep, we got one. So we caught a Pidgey. Uh, he's actually our buddy right now. This is a. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This feels. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Look at these little guys. Yeah. Six, seven. Bird whisperer. Oh, God. <laughs> One's going to land on my camera, and that's just going to be. Look at him. He's, he's here for a selfie. <laughs> these are my friends. This is, this is Jeff and Michael. They're not. <laughs> they argue a lot. <laughs> yeah, so here, let's get the whole whole crew in this. <laughs> this is the boy James. Kind of just hanging out at the pier today. James, how you doing? Good day so far? Just a lot of Pokemon, buddy? He's missing a leg? Buddy, you're getting in oh, some scuffles yeah. over here, yeah. What? Or a foot, not a leg, a foot. Oh, no, we got it. Do, 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 you want, do you want in on this pigeon action? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, no, that's, that's not a nut. All right, Pigeon, pigeon God signing out. Well, I got a 5K egg, but there is an Ivysaur sitting right here too. And we've got 
more squad on more squad on squad, so. And we got a seal as well. Yeah, he just got his Pokedex Ivysaur, <laughs> and I don't know if mine despawned, but I don't see it. Typically, you I click the Pokemon before I start recording so that it doesn't run away, and I didn't do it, and it ran away. Yeah, so we're back at the end of the pier again, and just another insane cluster of 10+, plus, uh, including a Tentacruel, a Slowpoke, and an Eevee. So this is, oh, Tentacruel's gone. Okay, rest in peace, but we got the Eevee though, I'll take that. Cluster spawns are definitely still a thing, although not officially. But yeah, it's been, as you can see on screen right now, a pretty successful day. Didn't get anything humongous, there was no Dragonite or Aerodactyl spawn. I'm sorry to these guys. They were hoping hoping for something big. Any any closing words from you guys? Good meeting you, dude. No. Squad up. Would you like to give the official outro? Absolutely. Uh, what do I say? Anything that, I don't know, just, this is you. Alright, stay is awesome you. people. Uh, <laughs> you know, just keep playing Pokemon and uh, yeah, be great. Boom. Have a great day. Peace. So moral of the story of this video, number one, cluster spawns are still happening. Number two, you can get a dummy amount of XP from your daily bonuses, your daily catch, and your daily spin bonuses. And number three, rest in peace my eye because it got poked out by a pigeon. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was a fun one to make. And if you enjoyed this video, 